Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Paris. In today's video, we are going to be talking about all of the books I have read in or within 48 hours. If you are new here, you may not know. I am a mom, I have a two-year-old daughter, and I am a stay-at-home mom, so I do have the privilege of reading when she's napping. I do try to make sure that I'm still getting like different house things done and anything else I need to take care of, I try to get that done before I focus on reading. But if the book is just too good, I will be picking up the book. All of these books are probably romance novels just because contemporary romance is very easy to read most of the time. I think I might have one or two thrillers on here. Majority of Colleen Hoover books I have read within 48 hours. I know Colleen Hoover is a very controversial author. A lot of people don't like her but then there are a ton of people that do like her. Obviously her books are popular for a reason. I'm going to share the ones that I have read within 48 hours at least that i remember and that i did enjoy starting with verity i absolutely love this book i read verity within one day if you don't know what verity is about it is more of a thriller it's one of colleen hoover's only thrillers verity is about this author i think her name was lowen she was offered a job to write for verity who's a very successful author verity's husband hires her to continue writing this series that she signed on to write however because she was in an accident she's not able to write the rest of the series so Lowen is hired to finish the series for her. Lowen stays at the house that Verity and her husband and her child live at and Lowen just starts to notice really weird things. There's a manuscript that she finds and she starts reading it. It reveals a lot of weird and strange and unfortunate things that have happened within this family. It's very fun. I really liked it. I also did read Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. That is about a mother who was in prison and when she gets out, she is trying to do everything she can to get back to her daughter. I believe she was incriminated when she gave birth or she might have even been pregnant in prison and gave birth and her her daughter was taken from her. That was the first book that I've ever shed real tears for. I am sure I have read a lot of other Colleen Hoover within 48 hours but that's all I'm gonna leave it at. I also have Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This is about, I don't even remember her name, but this is about a girl who is basically in a love triangle. She was in love with her brother's best friend but I think they were all like one friend group if I remember correctly. He kind of was just brushing her off all the time but then she meets noah that's the only person whose name i remember in this book she meets noah who is a football player at the college she is going to in the fall and they start to build a really great friendship it creates this whole love triangle situation a lot of crazy things start happening around the end then i also read a not so meet cute by megan quinn i read this book in one day this book is on oh by the way i think say you swear is on kindle unlimited and a not so meet cute by megan quinn is also on kindle unlimited i believe all of megan quinn's books are on kindle unlimited and a not so meet cute was the first book of hers that i ever read and it was just such a cute story i'm a sucker for fake dating tropes and this is exactly what that was lottie is fired from her job and she had promised her parents that she was going to move out of their house she walks the streets of beverly hills i believe it was and she makes it a joke with her sister that she's just going to look for a rich husband she literally bumps into a rich man as she is exploring the streets and he is actually looking for a fake fiance because he messed up with a potential business partner and said he had a fiance and voila it was just a really fun and hilarious rom-com i actually laughed out loud many times reading this book i also read it happened one summer by tessa bailey within two days and this is about piper piper is a really spoiled brat basically her stepfather ends up telling her that she needs to go off to the small town i believe it's where her biological father is from she meets brendan who is from this small town and he wasn't really vibing with her bratty behavior most of the time but then they kind of start to build a relationship a friendship whatever you want to call it all of these books literally sound like they're the exact same thing the seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed that was my first taylor jenkins reed book and i loved it so much i believe it takes place from like the 60s to the 90s or something like that but we just kind of follow evelyn hugo's life when she started acting you like her but you don't at the same time she does some things that you don't necessarily agree with but at the same time you kind of remember that she's a human being and being in the spotlight is obviously very tempting in so many ways then i read every summer after by carly fortune in one day and I love that book. Obviously, I wasn't a big fan of the little plot twist that went on. It was a little bit unhinged. I love childhood friends to lovers. It definitely gives off 
love in other words mixed with the summer i turned pretty in a lot of different ways summer lake house next door neighbors are two brothers you get the gist of it and it does take place in canada in ontario to be specific so i really loved understanding the different places that were being mentioned then i read the love hypothesis by ali hazelwood in one day and i believe this is the only ali hazelwood book that i've ever read this is about olive i believe her name was olive is a grad student she's in the science the stem realm let's just put it at that her best friend wants to date this guy that she used to date but she doesn't have any attachment to him and she's trying to give her the green light so she tells her that she's going on a date to kind of prove to her that she's moved on she kisses adam who is actually a professor at the school and in her program they end up fake dating then i read heartless by elsie silver this is a book that is also on kindle unlimited and this is part of the chestnut spring series i read heartless without having read flawless first and i heard that you can do that you just kind of miss out on the story of some characters that are like heavily mentioned throughout the book but their story doesn't have anything to do with this story this is like single dad and nanny trope i just felt like the book was a little too heavy on the sexual attraction for me and i just really love an emotional connection that's how i felt reading that for some some people they don't feel that way i read one true loves by taylor jenkins reed and that was an emotional book for me if you didn't know one true loves actually has a movie this is about a woman who falls in love with her high school sweetheart and they travel the world they enjoy each other so much and on their one year anniversary he is given this amazing opportunity to fly out somewhere basically he ends up missing and he's declared dead because for weeks and weeks he's gone his wife kind of has a hard time accepting it but eventually she realizes that it's time for her to move on and she does she moves back to her hometown she ends up bumping into this guy that she knew from high school and they end up dating i don't remember how long they date for but they end up getting engaged right after getting engaged she gets a call from her husband who she thought was dead and he's like i'm back i'm coming home so now she's in this position where she's wondering does she go back to her husband or does she stay with this man that she just started to build a new life with it just really touched on growth as people and how we change as people next i read the housemaid by frida mcfadden which all of frida mcfadden's books are on kindle unlimited this is about a housemaid who just got out of prison and she can't really get a job but the only job that she gets accepted for is to be a housemaid for this rich family her room is in their attic but the lock is on the outside of the door and not the inside so you can only imagine the different things that happen there is a sequel to this book out called the housemaid secret which i haven't read yet but i don't know i feel like this book honestly could have just stopped at the one book next i read love and other words by christina lauren which i mentioned previously it's kind of the same thing with every summer after how they buy this lake house she meets elliot who lives next door and they just bond off the fact that they both love books and they read together they just become the best of friends something happens where they stop talking for years and they bump into each other later on in life when in rome by sarah adams this is a book that i think i would go back and re-rate it honestly should i do a video of me re-rating all my books at the end of the year because i really think i want to like looking back at a lot of books I'm like, why did I read it that? But sometimes you just have a good feeling when you come out of the book, but then when you just think about the book as a whole, you're just like, okay, it wasn't really that good, you know? When in Rome was a fun book, it was cute. It's about this pop star who kind of gets tired of the fame and the attention, and she runs off to Rome, Kentucky. Her car breaks down in front of Noah's house, and Noah is this guy from this little small town. He owns a bakery, and he lets her stay for the night in his house and she basically becomes his roommate and stays with him for like a week or two i also read before we were strangers by renee carlino in one day and that's another best friends to lovers second chance type of book and i love this book so much they meet in college and they build this amazing connection with one another and they start to explore their relationship as lovers instead they stop talking to each other and they don't talk for 15 years i also read two of the dreamland billionaires books within 24 hours which was terms and conditions and final offer I struggled with the fine print but i think a lot of people did these books are by lauren asher by the way and they're all on kindle unlimited i'm not going to get into what all of those books are about then i read part of your world by abby jimenez part of your world and before we were strangers are like top tier contemporary romance books for me i loved part of your world we have alexis and daniel and alexis is driving home and she's driving through this small town she ends up in a ditch 
and Daniel is this guy from a small town and he helps her get out of the ditch and they bump into each other later at this bar. Alexis is from this family full of doctors so it's just something that runs in their family where they all end up being doctors. It's expected of you to become a doctor. So she grew up kind of privileged, you know, her family was very well off. Daniel on the other hand is from this small town. He doesn't really make a lot of money. He's a carpenter but he also runs this bed and breakfast. They have an age gap and she's older. She's in her mid to late 30s and Daniel's in I believe his late 20s. The only problem is Alexis can't see their relationship making sense because they live two different lives and it's just I need to reread that book. Oh my gosh. I read Yours Truly, which I read in two days. And this is also by Abby Jimenez. And this is based off of the best friend of Alexis from Part of Your World. And she's also a doctor. She meets Jacob, who is a new doctor at her hospital. He needs a girlfriend and she's available. They end up fake dating, but they build an amazing friendship. Jacob is this man that has anxiety. There were a lot of things that I really did relate on. Reading that book made me think a lot about the way that I think. Lastly, I read... Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Before I Let Go is about Josiah and Yasmin and they were once married and now they're divorced. They've been divorced for two years. They own a business together and they also co-parent two children together as well. They start to rethink why they even got a divorce in the first place. We do get to explore the reason the divorce even happened or how they were led to divorce, so I should say, because it wasn't just one thing. A second chance romance post-divorce those are all the books that i have read within 48 hours it was fun kind of sharing those books with you guys even though i feel like my book taste has changed a lot which i'm sure everyone kind of goes through different phases with their reading i am discovering that i'm more of a fantasy girl maybe it's because i started off loving twilight when i was younger so maybe that's why if you guys like this video if you want me to do more like book rec videos please let me know give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed please do not forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video